Will this destroy this? Let's prove it. Yeah! Three, two, one! Investigating the world of science, these apprentice clinicians take their nose out of books and put their hands into experiments to test the boundaries of the universe on a quest to I'm Emma Hildebrand from 4th grade Sand Creek Elementary School. This is our science experiment. We are taking an egg and putting it in Coca-Cola, corn syrup, and vinegar and put an egg in it and see what one will destroy the egg. The simple egg. Here's the yolk, here's the shell, and here's that gooey stuff in between. We boil them, we scramble them, and we eat them. But first, we need to get through this. The outer eggshell has a lot in common with chalk, rocks, and stalagmites. They're all made of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is used to make cement, paints, paper, and even medicines. It looks solid, but when you look really, really, really close, it's covered with over thousands of tiny pores, and it isn't solid at all. It's called a semi-permeable membrane. It lets moisture and air through its pores and keeps everything else out. These young minds want to know what will get through it. Do you think it'll work? No! no! Yeah! Yes! Let's prove it! So the challenge is on. Can this egg hold on to its protective shell? Or will these liquids melt it away? This new mom is struggling get the skates just right and now she's holding on for dear life her kids can see she may have broke her knees they still love her though she looks like she's attacked by killer bees i'm allergic you don't, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are our elementary school scientists are curious. Can they get through this perfect eggshell without cracking it? Well, they're going to see if one of these liquids will do the trick. They set up a simple experiment. Three eggs, three cups, and some cola, syrup, and vinegar. We're learning about chemical reactions and looking for signs of chemical reactions. So we start with Coke. And we put the egg in the Coke. And what we are hoping for is to see the sugar react with the shell of the egg and it'll actually dye part of the egg and it'll result in a lot of brown spots all over it but the shell doesn't actually dissolve which is the end result that we're looking for and the caro syrup the egg is porous so there are small little holes within the shell of the egg and the caro syrup will slowly penetrate those and by the end of the week when we remove the egg the inside of the shell or the membrane will be soft so as you kind of squish it, it'll soften the egg just a little. And then the last one that we did was vinegar. And the vinegar actually turns out the best. We usually hope for the best result. When we put the egg in the vinegar, it will start to bubble and the calcium in the shell of the egg reacts with the vinegar. And it'll slowly break down the shell, leaving behind just the membrane. So by the, when they take the egg out, it appears that we've made the shell disappear. Well, really, it's just broken down and dissolved in the vinegar. Can the kids come up with these results? What will happen when they drop the egg into the vinegar? Will it disappear? Will the syrup make the egg turn soft? What about the cola? Hey, don't forget about the cola. Will this destroy this? Let's prove it. The cups are filled and the eggs are ready to go. So let's... Well, you know the rest. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it.
You take a room full of junior scientists, a few dozen eggs, and a bunch of different liquids, and what do you get? You get a simple a science experiment looking for signs of chemical reactions. So we have the perfect ingredients for these young minds. Let's see what they think is going to happen. I think that the vinegar will dissolve the egg inside and the shell will be left over. I think she means it will dissolve the shell and the yolk and the gooey stuff will be left over. I think the corn syrup will just make the egg sticky and I think the Coca-Cola will go inside the egg but the egg will not dissolve all the way and the shell will be left over. So if Emma proves it, then we will, with one of these substances, have been able to remove the shell of the egg without actually breaking the egg, just leaving behind the membrane. Let the chemical chaos commence after this. You got a key? Go fish! Hey, hey, the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. We are taking an egg and putting it in Coca-Cola, corn syrup, and vinegar, and put an egg in it and see what one will destroy the egg. Cola, syrup, vinegar, and the simple egg. They seem like innocent components, but what happens when you drop this egg into one of these liquids? The egg is covered with a semi-permeable membrane. It looks solid, but it really isn't. Come a little closer. A little closer. Look at it under a microscope and you can see it has thousands of tiny pores all over the surface. So let's see what happens when the egg gets a bath in each. Will one of them dissolve the shell? Do you think it'll work? No! no! Cola is made of high fructose corn syrup or sucrose derived from cane sugar. There's caffeine in there, phosphoric acid, cocoa extract, lime extract, vanilla, glycerin, and a bunch of other stuff. Corn syrup comes from the starch of, well, corn. And it contains maltose and a bunch of other things we can't pronounce. But we know it's really sweet and gooey. And simple white vinegar is a concoction of acetic acid and water. It's made by the fermentation of ethanol by acetic acid bacteria. Think about that the next time you drizzle it over your salad. Which one do you think will dissolve the eggshell? Three, two, one. You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Our elementary geniuses are working on an experiment to find a chemical reaction. Their teacher has challenged them to drop an egg into cola, syrup, and vinegar and figure out what would happen. We put the egg in the coke and it'll result in a lot of brown spots all over it, but the shell doesn't actually dissolve. There are small little holes within the shell of the egg and the carol syrup will slowly penetrate those and the membrane will be soft, but the shell doesn't actually dissolve, which is the end result that we're looking for. When we put the egg in the vinegar, the calcium in the shell of the egg reacts with the vinegar and it'll slowly break down the shell. Three, two, one. And now We have three liquids to see if it would dissolve the shell. First we have Coke. 
Next we have corn syrup. And finally we have vinegar. Now let's see what one will destroy the egg. Ew. What does it feel like? Like a boiled egg and brown. So the Coke didn't work because the shell is still there. How is the corn syrup? the egg feel like? Hard and gooey. I guess the corn syrup didn't work. Let's see if the vinegar will. <laughs> it works! <laughs> what does it look like? It looks like the shell dissolved, so there's only the yolk left. <laughs> Just like their teacher said, cola was able to penetrate the shell and turn it brown. The syrup took its old sweet time to get through the shell and the sugar made the membrane soft, leaving the shell intact. But the vinegar... <coughs> the acetic acid in the vinegar combines with the calcium carbonate in the shell. There's a chemical reaction. Check this out. There are bubbles coming off the eggshell. The combination of the acetic acid and the carbonate create carbon dioxide gas, and that's what's in these little bubbles all around the outside of the shell. It's actually dissolving the shell, but it seems to disappear. Cola. No! no! Syrup. No! no! Vinegar. Yeah! The vinegar dissolved the shell of the egg, so now we know the vinegar works. We, we proved it! Yay! <laughs>